To try and make sense of the president's visit to Europe this week, we are joined tonight from Washington by Reginald Dale. He is a senior fellow in the Europe program at the Center for Strategic and International Studies. Thank you very much for being with us. The, the French and German governments want more regulation to combat the economic crisis, but the U.S. and the U.K. are pushing for more stimulus. How do we divide what seems to be a very wide gap between the two? Well, there is a wide gap, uh, and it stems from uh, traditional attitudes towards uh, economic, uh, how you uh, run a market economy. Um, but uh, there's already, the signs of the compromise are already there. Uh, the French and Germans don't want to stimulate their economies uh, very much more. Uh, the Germans in particular are still haunted by the inflation that uh, preceded the rise of Hitler. Uh, but they do want more regulation. Uh, the United States and Britain are still looking to stimulate their economies further. Now, the, the United States and Britain accept there should be more regulation. What they don't want is a whole new kind of uh, international global regulatory, regulatory structure uh, which forces them to apply regulations to their own economies that they'd rather uh, regulate themselves. So the answer is you do a bit of both. Uh, and you paper it over with some uh, nice language in the communique. Barack Obama was wildly popular in Western Europe. Uh, is the honeymoon for him over? And why, if, if it is, why was it so short? Well, he's still popular, uh, very much uh, with the uh, average European. I mean, they, they saw this as a hugely historic event, uh, a renewal of America, uh, and uh, everyone wants him to succeed. Uh, if, if the uh, bloom is a little bit off the rose, it's because of the dire economic situation, which people believe ha started in America, and they, they don't believe that uh, Obama has yet managed to resolve. Mm -hmm. So th there's concern uh, about that, and some people see Obama uh, with his propping up Wall Street and being friendly to the banks as being part of the elite, the sort of people that all this rage is directed against, not only in the United States, but uh, in Europe too. Only about 45 seconds left. President Obama met with his Russian counterpart today, and he pledged to reset the relationship between the two. Over time, are the Russians likely to respond well to this uh, kindler, gentler tone? Uh, not to the tone by itself. Uh, the Russians are uh, very, very talented at sniffing out weakness in any of their interlocutors. Uh, and they're very good at leading people up the garden path, particularly people who come to them uh, offering concessions and friendship without any strings attached. But it, this was the easy part. Um, it was uh, President Obama wanted to show uh, that he's better than President Bush at being a, an international leader and engaging other countries. President Medvedev uh, wanted to show uh, not only that he's the leader and, and not uh, pre former President Putin, but he also wanted to get back to a situation where, that prevailed in the Cold War, where Russia and the United States, or the Soviet Union and the United States, were the two superpowers discussing uh, the future of the world. Reginald Dale, thank you very much for joining us this evening. Thank you.